should I say where I might be going soon? Or do you think that's jinxing or is it manifesting? I think it's manifesting. Okay. I got invited to the Don't Worry Darling premiere. That's amazing. In New York. But they ghosted me. So I don't know if I'm going anymore. But I think I'm going. I which is why I think that you just say you're going because that was the last you heard. Yeah, I don't know. They haven't gotten back to me, but it's very possible that I might be there to kind of see all of this unfold yeah, they'll, they'll be in there person. Too. And I, they'll be there too. Should we call some shots? Should we do like a fantasy football esque prediction for I mean, they're just what's like going to happen? Yeah. I, ho- I mean, hopefully this time Harry and Nick will kiss with tongue. Maybe. And that's all I could hope for. (laughs) Flagging a few things before we get started. First, get let's get some. Let's air out. The, let's air out a few of the, our dirty laundries. Yeah. First, my hair might be looking different to some of you because I have my new Apple headphones that I love and don't want to part with. So Ryan kind of figured out a way I could wear them on the podcast with this lightning adapter. So my hair might be looking a little different because of the way the headphones are falling on my hair. It's nothing to worry about. Second of all, I'm wearing a skirt, not a skirt. For those of you who might be wondering, why would she wear a skirt? sitting in that position because we need the view we need the right but it's not it's not a skirt it's a skirt for those of you that don't know what a skirt is there are shorts under my skirt so don't get any ideas (laughs) welcome back to brooke and connor make a podcast um we have not been in the same physically in the same room together for about three weeks the last two episodes you saw were pre-recorded it feels th- in that way. It it definitely isn't like oh muscle memory, right? Like riding a bike. I feel shy around you. Yeah, I feel not. I feel queasy. Yeah, like I almost think that we need like small talk. I know. To, like, well, kinda, kinda what makes me nervous up. whenever I like do a podcast, or like I'm in the car with someone, or just like kind of like in an enclosed space with someone, I'm always like, what do I say? And in therapy too. I'm yeah. like, what do I say if I have to go to the bathroom? Do you have to? No, I don't right now, but it's like, what if I do? Yeah, that's, that's like what always makes me nervous about podcasts and I, stuff like I, that. I get that way on planes. Uh huh. But I've recently gotten over that. I guess I just have to say, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to run to the restroom. I have to. You have yeah. to put you first. Yeah. So that's what's causing. Or else me a you'll get a UTI. Yeah. Ha- you have to put yourself first, or else you'll end up guys can with get a UTI, tract right? infection. Yes, of course. Trust me. Yeah. Okay. Are you noticing anything kind of different about me? You look tan. Thank you. I lost a tooth this weekend. You're kidding. No, swear to God. Open your mouth. You might be looking at me saying, aren't you a little too old to be losing teeth? Yeah. Open your You'd mouth. You'd be right. Oh. I can't show you. I have to see. I So technically I didn't lose a tooth, but... The I'm gonna cap. break. I'm gonna break it down for you. Yeah. I have that root canal here, yeah. up left. Yeah. Um, I was having the time of my life, kind of drinking. I always get to the bottom of the drink and I chew on the ice. Mm-hmm. It's my go-to. I can't chew on ice since shit well, down my whole body. Guess what? I can't either because my my right. my cap falls out. Fell into my drink. Yeah. I'm talking to three people I didn't know uh-huh. that well. <laughs> <laughs> and I said. I'm either going to have to like fish my tooth out of this cocktail or just like try to. I would have swallowed it like a pill. Yeah. So I I get it back in my mouth, but Uh then I can't get it back on the tooth. How would you have even done that if you could? Good with. You could get your filling back on your tooth using only your tongue. Wow, girl. And, (laughs) and, and I did. Really? Yes. For a moment. And then I said. I, I didn't actually not even for a moment. I, I had it on the whole the whole rest of the night, and then I took it out that night because I was like, "This pops off in the middle of the night. I'm going to swallow it." You can just ha- take it back off, like not. Well, once it comes like off, it's like not glued okay. in anymore. So I've you have never to, had one. I have perfect teeth. I have like so. nine. Uh huh. I don't know. Gerd. Uh-huh. Gerd. Totally. Sorry. Sorry to bring up Gerd. Mm-hmm. Um. So we went and got a quesadilla the next morning. Breakfast quesadilla, mm-hmm. 
And with open face, new style of quesadilla that I had not known about until this week. How would you even you don't just wrap, tortilla you don't, on the bottom? You don't wrap it up. Yeah. Okay. You kind of just eat at it like a pizza. Yeah. With like, a fork? Um, I rolled it up. Okay. But it was served open face. Anyway, so... I'm uh yeah open face uh-huh. quesadillas. Let's let's see if we have any visuals for open open face quesadillas. It is yeah. it, it is like a Mexican pizza. I like I guess pizza, that is yeah. I guess Taco Bell got got ahead of yeah. me with that discovery. But I so I take out my tooth and I put it on my plate to be safe. So I so it wasn't on the table because it didn't need to pop back into my mouth after the meal. I brought okay. flossers, of course. Of course, as always. I get up to go to the restroom and I come back and the waiter has in fact cleared our plates while I was in the restroom. Throwing away my eight hundred dollar crown. I was gonna ask, could the dentist reuse that? Yes. Or you would. Okay, so that is a shame. And I said, "Sir, you threw away my tooth." <laughs> and he was like, "He should have known." He was like, "There was nothing on your plate. You cleared that Mexican quesadilla." And I was like, "There's at, at this point, everybody in the restaurant. It's not like a big restaurant. Everyone was kind of looking at us." Yeah. And he was like, "What was on your plate? What was on your plate?" And I was like. <laughs> and I was trying to mouth it to him, and he's like, "Your tooth was <laughs> your." I checked the plate; there was nothing on the plate. I was like, "Sir, the tooth was on the plate." Like, <laughs> and he's like, "Well, I already took those plates back." And I was like, "Where do they go?" <laughs> he's like, "They get handed off." And that, and I was like, "Can I need to go back in?" Uh-huh. And he was like, "You can go back in and look. The tooth is gone in the incinerator." Or oh whatever. no! Yeah. Shoot! So I just was out, and you know. Okay, the well, world? can I see what it looks like? No, please. I'm so sorry, Connor. You've mm. showed me, you've this has happened to you before, and I've I seen can't it. let your re- live reaction of what's underneath okay, the but crown. Show me after molar be show on. Me after I'll show you here. Okay. You really have to hold it together. Okay. Though. Okay, I will. It's foul. Like it's something that I. It's probably the least favorite thing about myself at the current. Oh, at least no one can see it unless they're looking unless in I your mouth your like inner... I'm about to. Just show me. I won't. I won't. I no, I no, you have to. No, I can't. No, you I have can't. to. <laughs> Show me. Oh, it's not like so bad. <laughs> it's not horrible. Let's move on. Okay, I kind of like lost my bearings a bit. Yeah. So um, I don't have a dentist in LA because I haven't gone to the dentist. Okay, now I, I have. Get I on. actually, that's something I have, and I have insurance now. Yeah, that's insurance. nice. That's nice. Good for you. Okay, but I don't have. I don't have dental insurance, insurance because, as it turns out. It's Sometimes they don't things. recommend dental insurance if you're just well for you probably. But I'm high because risk because you you're well. high risk yeah. and you go a lot. I don't, so I don't need dental insurance. It's just more efficient to pay out of pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you probably do. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I got that dog yeah. in me. Yeah. Well, did anything else fun happen while you were in New York and away this weekend or these past few weekends besides losing your tooth? Yeah. I, so I went. I left on the nineteenth. That was the mm-hmm. last time we were here in person. Yeah. And yeah, and then I went to my grandma's house in Michigan, right. Upper Michigan. Um, I posted about Upper Michigan on Instagram. It looks so beautiful. There, and who knew that Upper Michigan no was that beautiful? No one knows. And a lot of people were like, "Don't blow up the spot." I'm like, "Trust me, no one's coming all the way up uh-huh. here. Like, I'm not gonna like. It's not a new island in Turks and Caicos where I'm gonna like expose the locals. Like, it would be okay if a little bit more people went up there." It's really cool though. Like it's it's it just only has probably like a month of really solid swimmable weather, mm-hmm. which is why we go up there so we can like hike and swim. But I don't have service at all up there because I had Sprint, which merged with T-Mobile, which oh, made it like it. a hybrid of two, sh- right? Two sucky things. Yeah. Um, they we're not dealing with employee of the month in terms of carriers. Um, so mm-hmm. I was not able to access like any internet. Right. I know. Which is nice if you do it intentionally, but if if not, it feels like you're in a straight Person, jacket. Yeah. Really scary. Um, but it was good. So my grandma, the way she talks about death is unbelievable. <laughs> like just like- I, I really want you to play cards with me tonight. We play all kinds of cards uh-huh. up there because she doesn't have Wi-Fi. Right. Wow. No Wi-Fi. Wow. When I needed to send an email that, during those five days or check Slack- I had to drive to McDonald's, right. which was 20 minutes away. That is really wild. It's not like everybody in this town doesn't have Wi-Fi, but like she's like, I don't need it. Okay, she, so how does she talk about death? She's just like, play cards with me before I die? She's like, I really, I mean, like, we should get in as much as we can before I go to the other side. And I'm like, Grandma, it's like so unnecessary uh-huh. to mention you pa- your passing. But she's like comfortable with it. Right. I think at that age, you're just like, okay. some Sometimes. Yeah. Which is, I th- would imagine that 
is something I will be comfortable with at the time. Yeah, because you love napping. I know. And I think at like 90, it's just like, okay. Also, no no sweating. No, Yeah, just like, I'm ready. That is scary to talk about. Yeah, it's a little scary. Yeah. Um, But like, let's be solution focused mm-hmm. and not problem totally. oriented. But yeah, I, I, so I did that for a week. And then at that point was like so ready to be simulated because it was a small town, mm-hmm. upper Michigan, no service. It was awesome though. But we you had, a lot. you found some hobbies while you were there. Yeah, bro. Yeah, oh yeah. my God, you're keeping yeah. us very much yes. on track yes. today. Well, I want to talk about them because I'm so, so excited for you. Yeah. Yeah. So I've struggled with hobbies because I, I was like, I have no hobbies. Um, but I, I started, I'm obsessed with like mushrooms, mm-hmm. not like psychedelics. Um, but like we were fine, we went out like looking for these certain types of mushrooms right. that we read about. And, and we do found you have a, a book that you're looking at kind no, of when we, you go uh, looking? No, we had, well, we had some people that we met like while hiking and they were like, yeah, there, there's these mushrooms like everywhere. You can go find them and mm-hmm. they all do different stuff. I don't know. And they're called certain mm-hmm. stuff. And we found them. It was cool to go look. That for. was always my favorite part of being a preschool teacher was when like we would read about something and then we could actually go find it in nature. And the kids were just like the excitement and joy when they would find it like that is something i miss deeply i think that's probably what it sparked because mm-hmm. then we move right from there michigan has the best rocks you know what makes them different than just rocks do you that know you would find anywhere? do you know those like rocks that you cut open and it's like a gl- it's a like granite almost, granite or? no it's like it's called agates oh no and you cut them no i don't know them oh okay. that's what i'm saying um i was like was that a bad word no <laughs> and so we you when you cut them open they're like that yeah oh that's beautiful but on the outside they look like shitty little dumb like stupid they look stupid on the outside but on the inside you just so you know you have to know on the inside that counts Eh, not always Always. but i agree with rocks but i uh anyways it's really hard to find them you kind of have to know what you're looking Uh for and i found my i feel like they look cool from the outside that's when you put them through like a a rock tumbler and it tumbles them for hours and they come out looking like rocks you buy at a gift shop but it means a lot more to find them by yourself yeah so how my, would you know that they're my what they are dad's dad used to take him out to look for agates and then my dad learned how uh, to get I, it i have goosebumps <laughs> yeah so we found a bot or we found he my dad finds him like from so far away and finds him picks him up mm-hmm. i'm like is this one he's like no this one no it's giving it's giving the same vibe mm-hmm. it's like holding the flashlight for your dad while he fixes something in a car mm-hmm. um but now i like it that's awesome, and I have you sent the cutest photos of you with. Oh yeah, with you mushrooms. posted. I, yeah, I, see, I couldn't even see you couldn't, you post yeah, those. Yeah, because you didn't have service. I was just, we were all missing you, so I needed to kind of share that. But I was that blurb. That when I was doing that, I was like, I'm having so much fun. This is so cool. This is a hobby. Yeah, I could do this. L.A. doesn't really have any rocks. Well, we could go to some like national parks or something. We could yeah. take a road trip. Yeah, I'm down. Okay, I'm super down. But then I was thinking about how cool it would be. I think they're coming out with so many shows uh-huh. lately. They are. I'd watch a show about stuff people find on the ground. I love nature shows. Well, in general, I'd, like if you're in New York. You and, could make your own you find, show of stuff you find on the ground. Yeah. Like a vlog. Comedians finding cool comedians, stuff. Comedians grabbing do geology. The car. Comedians grabbing cool things off the ground. I think that would be really fun and I could set up for you like I used to set up for my preschoolers like a treasure hunt. Like a uh, scavenger hunt. It has to feel scavenger real. Scavenger hunt. It, trust me, it'll feel real. So I think if, we, it, if it, I can smell f- fake from a mile away. What so. would be fake about it? I'm not setting up anything. I'm actually like doing research, figuring out oh. like, in the where we're the area we're going. I didn't realize it. Yeah, I no, didn't I'm realize not how hiding you're gems take for you. It. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm taking it very seriously. Remember that dog in the. Uh, uh, Granimals? What are the little pets? I don't know. I never the little wa- fluffy. Fur- I never watched that. Paw Patrol? No, those little animals you buy. Neopets? Neopets? No, not ni- Webkins. Ne- Webkins. And that there's that geologist guy that. Was yes, like, and everyone was like, he's so hot. Hey, come sell me your. Mine. Come sell me yeah. your rock. Yeah, so you found yeah. A special, yeah, yeah, yeah. You found a special gem. Yeah. Let me let me buy that gem yeah. off you. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I felt kind of felt like. I'm like, I can find this guy. I found him. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, rock. That's really good. Okay, and then you went to New York. Yeah, then I went to New York. Um, it was great. It was so much fun. I have so much fun in New York. Yeah. But that's really all that I didn't do anything. Filmed a lot of YouTube content. Good. That's so awesome. That'll be edited as soon as I have 17 hours mm-hmm. to watch, you know. Uh huh. And then Hamptons. 
and that's it. And that's where my tooth fell out. You know, I've never been to the Hamptons. That was my first time. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm like from a few hours away, so it's like you should go to the Hamptons. Yeah, I just can't. I have, I haven't been. You know, maybe what, one day. You know what I was thinking? Like I thought the Hamptons was like big, like. Mm-hmm. It was like small town, cute small yeah, town. Yeah, yeah. Like it, I'm bummed we didn't really, we didn't have like a car really. So like, it would be like if we were going to like walk around town. We stayed in the woods. Fun. You know, with like friends. So we really, really just fun. sat around all day, and then at night we'd go to like these da- dive bars. Um, and I kept running into Dave Portnoy. That's so interesting. Two nights in a row. How did you say hi? Mm-hmm. We talked for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. Did he know who you were? No. Oh. <laughs> so what did you talk about? Um, just like what whatever. What was he doing? Yeah, uh, having pizza. Really? Yeah, having pizza and watching football. And wow. Having beer. Cool. Yeah, his whole group that he was with was so nice. Okay. And they, some of them were like, "Oh, you're, you know, football, whatever." So I chatted with them, and I was trying to be like, "Oh, look, like I'm a normal person." Uh huh. Didn't he didn't no pick tooth. up on that? Yeah. Yeah, this guy's missing a tooth. <laughs> I can smell it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyways, so um, you had a, you had a couple things happen while I was gone too. I've heard. Well, I stayed here, obviously, that goes yeah. without saying. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the first day you left, something horrible happened to me. Horrible in a character development kind of way that there's like maybe a silver lining or horrible. Just- no, just like literally the worst thing that could ever happen to someone. Yeah. And that is I was out to dinner with some friends, went to the restroom, single stall. Yeah. Didn't lock the door as as thoroughly as I had thought, meaning that it just wasn't locked at all. And someone walked in on me in in the bathroom, which is just like the like genuinely like the wor- to me like the worst thing that could ever happen, especially just like the position of it all. Yeah, was really traumatizing. Yeah. And then here's what I wanted to ask you about this situation: if you are the person walking in on somebody in the bathroom, like you've literally like seen it into their soul and. In, into their score into into ev- into everything that you could have seen into what what's your move what's your move as the somebody who walks in i've done it so many times okay are you just waiting outside of the single stall i'm out i'm leaving the restaurant i'm leaving the restaurant that girl waited outside of the single stall did she say anything door. sorry leave Ooh. leave leave the restaurant you have just committed a terrorist attack genuinely that's how how i see it and she stood there and waited for me, walked in after me. I go back to my table, sits down behind me. I had to, and I had to eat dinner next to her. Next to your peeping Trish. It was like, I actually have goose. I have like cold sweats you get before you're going to throw up. That's like, psychotic behavior. I can't eat. Like when you walk in on somebody in the bathroom, it should be like, it's worse for the person who's walking in usually. Cause you're like, fuck, like that was horrible. And you leave. Oh yeah. There's literally no uh, way around that. You leave. You you spare them. You spare the, the person. Yeah. The embarrassment. You head out. So I. Just, I would like, have said something more than sorry. Like holy shit, my bad. Well, also like, granted, like I'm gaslighting her a bit because I didn't lock the door. Mm. So it's like, sure, check walk this, in. Check this. First of all, knock. Whatever happened to knocking? Second of all, again, and I can't stress this enough. She had to go like there was no other option weird to hang out right there that close I, I i literally i tried to put myself in her shoes that's what i was trying to do the whole meal maybe i can't even imagine waiting maybe benefit of the doubt like she was in a tough spot and whatever extra second she saved by waiting there could have been she was fine could have been go home and change versus it, no she was fine you can tell yeah it, i just like unbelievable like there are yeah. rules and they're well, etiquette. Even, and- even if I go and I check to see, I always check to see if the door is on because I don't want to put, I don't, I don't want to have to put myself in that situation. Mm-hmm. I'm not really even thinking about the person fully vulnerable squ- squatting mm-hmm. in that position. Right. Um, I can't I even check, explain. And even you- if I, if even if I know that they maybe kind of heard me check the door, I'm out, and I keep an eye from a distance. Are they? Yeah. If I don't knock, because I get, I kind of get not knocking nowadays, because like knocking, like. It's like an old practice, you know? It's been around It's been around decades. for decades. And it's like, okay, time to make a change. Maybe I won't knock. But then if you're not going to knock, open the door very slowly so that me on the inside is seeing whoa, the whoa, handle whoa, move whoa, 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 whoa. and I have the opportunity to scream, someone's uh, in here. Occupied. Yeah. yeah. My go-to, someone's in here. How about you? Someone's in here. Yeah. Like, I'm always like, someone's in here. 
<laughs> um, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to just set me up like organically. Okay, I'm opening the door. Um, that's I think that's I, what I, I would say. Um, <laughs> um, um, mine's always someone's in here like Yoo-hoo. panic, like absolutely. No, panic. I, I honestly, I have no sh- like if someone walked in, I'm gonna be like, look at, you want to? Oh, take I a was pick. like. You a fan? I think I like I I must fan have of the pod screamed. I must have screamed. Get in here. That is so scary. Like imagine that girl watched the podcast. <laughs> You're wrong, girl. But just like imagine, not even na- not that she's watching now, but like imagine she had watched in the past and like knew who I was, like and what, but just like so scary. Hey guys, want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. Um, Brooke, I always have this thing that happens to me, and this is something that I read way back in the day, is that a lot of times I get stuck focusing on my problems mm-hmm. rather than how to fix my problems, like solution. Right. Because I'm really problem focused instead of being solution focused. And after reading that, I've, I've taken time to be like a little bit more mindful about like when I'm in those stressful thinking d- zones, <laughs> thinking times, I'm like make a list, you know, change right. your mindset That's and move forward. Don't dwell in, in right now because most of what you worry about won't happen 99% of it good it sounds like you're changing your mind I am thanks to better help yep. it can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem solving mode when faced with a challenge in life but when you learn how to find your own solutions there's no better feeling mm. a therapist can help you become a better problem solver making it easier to accomplish your goals no matter how big or small I totally agree with that I love where your head's at today I'm serious I know I you're know. really helping me because this week I'm really looking forward to therapy because I had a really long week. Mm-hmm. It was a four day weekend. Um, I had I had I experienced a four day weekend you, in yeah. its truest form, and so going and talking through all of these almost non existent issues, right? It's all, gonna, it's all gonna be okay. You're gonna go full problem solving. I'm mode. going full problem solving yeah. mode this week instead of dwelling in in that in, first part in the of the problem. So you're gonna look for solutions. Yeah, that's all. We like I said earlier. Problem. Yeah. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists anytime. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash B-A-N-D-C today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash B-A-N-D-C. Didn't something else happen with you? Where you walked out of a restroom and like a fan was sitting there waiting mm-hmm. to greet you. <laughs> yeah, after I had explosive diarrhea. <laughs> I was at the flea market. <laughs> that wasn't me, but there was someone. There was. I some, literally was like, that was. That was like. This a, has been like this. There was like a gross <laughs> individual here right before me. Yeah, totally. It, the thing that the good thing about being so short and just like I don't think I'm like I'm, but like petite, I guess. He's like no one expects it. You yeah. know, so you can always just be like, wasn't me. And they'll be like, okay. Yeah. Even though it was. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I do. I anyway, that. that was the only thing basically that's happened to me since you were gone. Oh. The only other thing is, I w- and I wish you were there for this, is me and Sally are hosted this event for this show on Peacock. Actually, a really good show. It's called Everything I Know About Love. And that's cool. not me just doing promo. It was just like such a good show. And we hosted a screening of it. And I have horrible stage fright mm-hmm. like really, yeah i know I yeah know. yeah yeah so like i had and i had to go up in front of like the whole crowd of people and introduce the movie oh oh yeah that's the show really cute and fun. anyone in it that we know uh, mm, no but they were all so good i like when shows don't have any yeah people in it's them. british too oh cool um so i actually think that the actors are maybe well known mm, not in, the main in british shows but i actually don't know and I was so nervous that I had to write. I had like six words to say. And those words were like, hi, I'm Brooke. Welcome. Enjoy the screening. And I had to write them all on my hand. And I was like, okay, I'll make it a bit. So it's like, hi, I'm nervous. So I'm going to read off my hand. And I did that. Not one laugh. Maybe people didn't want to be rude. Mm. I would have been laughing. Yeah, I, That's why I wish you were there. Mm. No one was laughing. Oh, okay. So safe to say. Uh, well, it went well, well right? It's... I mean, it went well in the sense that I didn't like puke on stage. You hosted him out of nerves, for Peacock. but that's pretty. It was fun. Yeah, but it just like no one laughed, which kind of always is disheartening. Sure, sure, that does. Suck. Yeah, but maybe you're right. Maybe they were just trying to be 
con. You had like a lot of friends there. Maybe maybe they were trying to be. No, I told everyone to laugh and they still didn't. What do you have to say about that? I don't like nothing. I would have laughed. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds funny. Anyway. That... Uh, speaking of the de- well. Oh, what are you thinking? I got. I, I always get comments about me not laughing at things you're oh. saying. I do think that the ter- I think she's funny. <laughs> I do think she's funny. I don't always. I don't laugh at anything. No, I, I know. I don't get. I'm not offended. The last time I laughed at like a movie was Marcel the Shell because, Which, by the way, is out on Amazon Prime today. And that's what you're gonna tell that's me. That's what I was gonna tell you before. Oh, you were, like, I'm watching David. it again tonight. Me, oh, 100. percent You want to come over and watch it? Sure. Okay. That's sure. Funny. I do. Okay. I'm my, gonna watch my it. favorite line. I don't. Uh, there's no spoilers because it's a fake movie, but um, is when Marcel goes, "Oh shit!" Uh, w- war, peace war. and ble- peace and blessings. Hate, hate was it hate or war? Like love and pe- love and blessings. I don't know. It's a. You'll, I don't want to butcher it because it's, it's actually, such a. People will know. It's a fun. Like once they watch the film, you'll know. It's a really know funny. What it's such a good. I was it's sitting there with. I went and saw it with four guys. And we were, like, not that that matters, but no. it's like not. I, it was supposed to be like a sweet movie, but we just, you know, like, it was oh, hilarious hysterical. and heartwarming, and you'll sob. Yeah, we were all cracking yeah. up at that part. It's it's incredible. Okay, we had announcements that we were supposed to do. Like six oh, times 25, already. 24 minutes ago, and fifty five seconds yeah, ago, so, we so were supposed to make some announcements. We did a TMG fantasy football mm-hmm. draft with the whole squad, um, all two, four, six, eight of us. Eight. Yeah. Um. And it was really fun. And that's going to be available. Is or that is available? It's available. Yeah. And I go watch that. I'm and, rumored. And stay tuned. I'm rumored to win. Is that being? The draft. Yeah. I think that you're. Cody's pretty stacked. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm playing Cody. If that's what that I don't know exactly. So to be honest, I'm in six separate group texts for fantasy football leagues that I'm actively ignoring because I always auto draft because things like this like gambling and stuff and like putt putt gets me so f- I, I know it's like a game but then like why are we keeping score mm-hmm. you know like if it's just a game well what sucks about fantasy f- football that I didn't realize is that it doesn't stop at the draft no it just it just starts at the draft it's we're just getting yeah that's so the I don't but know how I would do here's what I'm asking everyone to do is I'll show I'll show you my team. You can find my team on the draft video mm-hmm. on TMG. It's also YouTube. on and so then and it's also on Twitter. Okay. Um, and Instagram and Instagram. TMG. Yeah, you can. So, and those are like still images. So, so just it's easier to zoom if in. you know anything about football, take a look at that. So kind of take a screenshot either mentally or physically, and then let me know what I need to do once the game starts. If I need to swap anything or I'll take some advice too. Yeah, I'm not above advice. That would be helpful. Okay, and that's that. And that's it. Um, your birthday's this weekend. Yeah. Which I'm really excited for because I love birthdays that aren't mine. Yeah. You doing anything? No, I hope not. Because you're exhausted? No, I just kind of like get into this headspace every time I have a birthday of like, let's time let's take time for reflection mm-hmm. and time to rebrand. And I know I, I rebrand every you do, year at this you time. You do. And this year, I decided I'm going to do like the whole 30 Uh uh-huh um and just see you know because i haven't i I told you like maybe maybe fitness is my next thing right my next well i would love if you joined the gym with me um hell no but i'll eat better i don't know if i ever said this but logan left the gym and i'm terrified it's because of me no okay he's probably picked up a role Mm -hmm. so on a major network so true um mm-hmm. or die so talented no he we forbid. still follow each other on instagram okay. yeah Ask so him. nothing no on the gym yeah um i think it's got to be a, a bit of a solo journey for me i wasn't going to drink starting today or yesterday uh but i have something that <laughs> come up on thursday <laughs> okay so friday so friday i'm gonna start but i really do believe you don't have to fully restrict because when, I want to. But I hear you. I want to. But I've done that in the past. And when you start to fully restrict, it just like makes you want the other things so much more. And then it's like when you you're gonna you're gonna cheat because of how hardcore you're restricting. And then it makes everything worse mentally. Just to my two cents. Yeah. So what if you did like whole twenty twenty? 
Or like on the weekends, you just let loose. That's what I do right now. Okay, yeah, so just do that. Uh, it's not working. I want to do something different. Okay. Because I'm thinking if I got in really good shape, I wouldn't have to be as entertaining. I could just like sit mm-hmm. down and have pecs. So that's kind of like what I'm, that's like my goal for 27. But also, my birthday's on 9-11, so it's like kind of a hard day to yeah, rally for people both together. Yeah, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. shit. Oh, it's okay. We it's were okay. meant to be I know. here together I know. because it's it's a hard day for me, even though I don't really. I mean, it's my birthday first. It's just like a significant. It was my it's birth- a significant day. It was my birthday first. It was. A, it's a significant day. But yeah, I agree. It's a tough, uh, tough um, pill to swallow. But it's it's just yeah. hard to like. Yeah. Like, let's all go get brunch. Right. On nine eleven, it's gonna be so mm. fun. My cousin's birthday's nine eleven too. How how is he doing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't know him that well. But really, I just know his birthday is nine eleven. Okay. Yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah. That, I mean, I don't have any. I don't have any plans. And, okay. And that's it. I t- Brooke said, "Let's do something fun." For yeah, I think we should go like, like get mush like not like look for mushrooms in the in the desert. Yeah. Not like like not LSD or what is it? LSD hallucinate no. hallucinate. Yeah. Not those like the actual like wild ones that. You like to look at and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if they I grow in the desert. Have them in the desert? No, I don't think. I think that's the purpose of a desert. Okay, I have to confess something to you, and I'm getting so nervous, and my hands are what? sweating so bad. Well, I had to knit you something for your birthday. Obviously. Oh my god! But no way! No, I've been having nightmares about it. What was your nightmare? It's just I have never knit this before, because it's not an article of clothing. Because I was like, he's not going to wear that. And I had a dream that we were in this. What is it going to be? At, I'll, you'll see in a second. Oh, you have it? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm so nervous. I've never knit anything for anyone before besides you. But we were in this auditorium in my dream. And I don't know. Some The keynote speaker came out. I don't know the identity of the keynote speaker. And we were sitting together. And the keynote speaker was just like, okay, before we get started, Brooke has something to say. And you know I hate public speaking. Mm. So obviously I knew that the keynote speaker wanted me to give you your present. And when I went to give it to you, I explained like Connor. The keynote speaker invited you up on stage to present me with my gift. Yeah. And you were up, you had to come up too. You know, Cody did a keynote speaker event last week. Congrats, Cody. Do you think it was maybe him that? I No, he wasn't. I I don't even know the gender identity of the keynote speaker. That's why I just keep calling them keynote speaker. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I presented it to you on the stage and it wasn't what I had made. It was like this like first grader, not that there's anything wrong with first grade art. It's exquisite. It just like, wasn't what I had made. It was like very like sloppy. Yeah. And then the please don't destroy boys from SNL were in the audience and they were like booing me and they were like, get off the stage. You're trash. And then I, you were like, Brooke, get, like get off the stage. Cause you were embarrassed by the Whoa. by the knitting as well and then i just like ran off and and that was it because i'm just like it's like a little like i had to sew a lot i'm like shaking thinking about it Ooh. i had to sew a lot and it's like it's like not like put together in the in the way that i would have wanted it to be but it's still i'm i don't okay. i'll be excited okay. either way i just ready? like receiving gifts are you ready yeah okay put it under my chair in case i chickened out and was like never mind that's why it's not under your chair I can't reach. Okay. Here. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so I love tote bags. I'm yeah. Tote bag yeah. Brooke knit a tote bag. <laughs> and I did it. I wanted it to match your merch. Whoa. And the F is a little wonky, but oh. just don't look too close at it. It looks awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh. <laughs> oh, Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, I'm glad, And I'm glad that that is, is over with. <laughs> What if, what if I was like, you're like, ew, and threw up in it. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I'm glad that, that you like awesome. it. Oh. And I hope that you wear it, but also you don't have to. I absolutely will. Okay. I kind of don't want to damage it. It's fine. It's like, I don't think you can because I sewed it together pretty tightly. So I could get a laptop in this and yeah, throw it around? Yeah, I think I measured it against my laptop. Wow. Yeah. Oh, let's absolutely go. Yeah. That's amazing. But I didn't sew in, um, oh. I have these little like stickers that you sew in that are like made with love of Brooke but after my dream I was like I'm not sewing that in there that's so embarrassing <laughs> but Even like, uh, I don't I always can later down the line yeah you should yeah this is awesome I'm great, so glad great stitch thanks work. Con 
There's some crazy stitch work in this bitch. Yeah. Thank you. And I did try a few different kind of stitch works yeah, that I was loving that I was unfamiliar with. These, um, so you'll notice if you turn it around and you look at the fibs, that's actually different stitching, which I was having some co oh, some I like complications. That. It's with. great. Okay, good. Very cool. Thank bro. you. Thanks, Connor. Thanks for thank you for <laughs> yeah, this. Of course. <laughs> um you can now, put anything you want in there. Cool. Yeah. I have so many ideas yeah. and things I could put in here. That's awesome. I got you got you something too. You did. Yeah, it's um I didn't have any nightmares about you getting You put something this under thing. your chair? Yeah. Then did you look under my chair first to put that under Huh? Did you want to put that under my chair today? No. What? The thing I'm giving yeah. you? Yeah. No. I'm wondering if you had seen my tote bag. No, I hadn't seen oh, it. Oh, so you didn't know. That, that was, was an coming. absolute surprise. Okay. Wow. Do you need help? I seem to be missing what I put. Oh, it really just took a mind of its own and went way under my chair. Is this a present? Um, yeah. Sorry. I sat on it the whole way here. <laughs> <laughs> on accident. <laughs> but, um. Oh, my God, Connor. I love it. I ordered it online. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm holding right here is a bumper sticker, and it says, honk if I mess up. Can I ask what inspired it? <laughs> You're driving. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> um. Well, so what kind of inspired it is that huge yeah. dent on the side of your right. car on the right side? Yeah. Oh, and, and then the right also side. the huge scratch on the left on side. On the left side as well. Yeah. Can I just say in defense of the scratches, thank you, I love this and I can't wait to put it's it really, on my car. I, was like, this is <laughs> I can't wait to put it on my car. But in, de in my defense, those scratches, first of all, they're her stretch marks because she's absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And second of all, those are all from parking. So it's like no so nothing, no no dents on my car, right. whether it be left side, right side, or the front corner, or the back left corner, have come from any on the road incidents. So those what you're all saying parking. is all of those are times that you've hit something yes, that is stationary. That stationary. Yes. As so we put as, that on as soon yeah. as you can. As we've discussed on this podcast, my eyesight is a little, whoa, whoa a little wonky. That's okay. Yeah, nothing to be concerned about. God but, gives his his most special battles. astigmatism to his tiniest drivers. Yeah, that's so true. And you want to hear something really kind of concerning? Huh. Is that my first car, I didn't like test drive because I didn't know how yeah. to drive. So I was like, it doesn't matter. I don't need to test drive anything because I'm not going to know like if it's good or not. So my first car... I didn't know this until I got a different car, but I could never see over the wheel of my first car. And I thought that's Whoa. just how cars were. Like you were, I just thought like you couldn't see over a certain part at, at, in any car, at, at any person. It turns out you are supposed to see over the wheel all the way. So that's something I learned later in life. Yeah. Yeah. Learning is just a, as you go type situation. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, ZocDoc Inc. Battleship is a fun board game a lot of us played as kids. As an adult, Calendar Battleship is the frustrating game you play with your doctor, trying to find when you're both free for an appointment, like in three months. With ZocTalk, booking an appointment with a doctor that suits your needs, fits your schedule, is in your network, and in your neighborhood is easy. ZocTalk is beyond Easy. Checking availability and stuff online instead of having to, like, uh, you know, go the roundabout way. I can't do the, like, so far in advance. Yes. I don't know what's going to happen. Totally. And I'll tell you a little bit more on this podcast later on um, about why I need to be on ZocDoc.com right after we get off this, <laughs> <laughs> this pod. Um, NSFW. But, but I'll save that. I'll save that. Anyway, ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them. On ZocDoc, you can find every specialist under the sun, whether you're trying to straighten those teeth. <coughs> Little teaser for foreshadowing for what I'm going to tell you. Fix an achy back also on that. Get that mole checked out. <laughs> this Thanks is written for me. <laughs> yes. Uh, or anything else ZocDoc has you covered. ZocDoc's mobile app is as easy as ordering a ride to a restaurant or getting delivery to your house. Search, find, and book doctors with few taps. Find and review local doctors, read verified patient reviews from real people who made real appointments. Now, when you walk into that doctor's office, you're all set to see someone in your network who gets you. Go to ZocDoc.com, find the perfect doctor that's right for you, and book an appointment in person or remotely that works for your schedule. 
Yes. Huge. Every month, millions of people use ZocDoc, and I'm one of them. It's my go-to whenever I need to find and book a quality doctor. Go to ZocDoc.com slash B-A-N-D-C and, s- and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your search for a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash B-A-N-D-C. ZocDoc dot com slash B-A-N-D-C. Okay, should we... That's been about 40 minutes on weekend ketchup. Let's right. dive into <laughs> some pop culture events. Yeah. Something big that's happening this week. And today, right now, we're recording at Tuesday at like, f- it's 4 p.m. So we're not responsible for anything that's happened Wednesday or Thursday. I think we're going to get some updates to this. Right. As, like, before, like, before. I think there's going to be a lot more that comes out, but yeah. we're a few days behind by the time you're seeing this. So if we miss anything, it's not our fault. Okay. Don't worry, darling. Do you have a grasp on what's going on? It's starting to give me worry, darling. (laughs) The way things are kind of panning out. Yes. Agree. Yeah. I think I know. I think I get it because I I have had no choice but to consume every situation. No one has any choice. No. You're locked in. It's better than the movie. You know what? This movie, this press tour has something for everyone. Yeah, it really does. No matter who you're a fan or not a fan of. It's really incredible it really, work. And I, it, I, now I'm thinking it's all on purpose. Now that you right, mentioned that's that. That's what I was going to say. Now that you mentioned that. That's what I was going to say. It feels like kind of they're like we already hired every single every single actor that's an on the A-list top 10 yeah. right now. Let's stir it. It's already going to get the pre- let's like Add something deeper to this whole thing. You're and it's so kind of smart. freaking me out because it's like, they're giving it a lot of hype for this mm-hmm. movie. Like, Did you hear that what the people at the Venice Film Festival were like, it was bad? And it has a 40 on Rotten Tomatoes. They they need to just really make a documentary about the drama. I think Rod tweeted that. Mm-hmm. Oh, they do. At this point. That would do but better than the movie. Let's I, really quickly give yeah. an overview of our understanding. Right. Okay. It's it started with people thinking that F- Florence had beef with Olivia right. because Florence wasn't reposting the "Don't Worry, Darling" trailers that Olivia was Florence posting. Florence Pugh, Florence Pugh, the lead star actress of the film, was not reposting. Someone tweeted really quick to jump in. Someone tweeted, "Y'all are just making up new white people every day. Who is Florence Pugh?" <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's really good. Because like, I wouldn't necessarily know who she is if I didn't see Midsummer, but that's not even that wasn't even her big thing that she was in. Um, Little Woman was that before? I didn't see it. Yeah, so I don't. I feel like Little Woman was what I knew her from. It's I, I yeah I, I mean I know her now, but I was just like yeah whoa that's kind of crazy. Like, I, and I, I feel like there's a, so many other things I just can't think of them for whatever reason. All right, so she wasn't okay. Posting so she wasn't of... reposting, so everyone was like, there must be beef. Yeah. Then what was the second thing that happened? The second thing that happened here, and I need to look at the, was Shia LaBeouf came out. Well, no. No, that was Something. later. Basically, everyone was just like, Florence is so quiet. Olivia's outwardly like sucking her dick, being like, Florence is the most amazing woman. Yeah, yeah, Florence yeah, is staying absolutely silent. And then people were speculating that Florence was upset because of the relationship that Harry and Olivia struck up on set and that Harry assumedly was getting paid. Is assumedly a, a word? It works. It, for it me. does work. Assumably was getting paid a lot more than Florence. Who was? Harry, comma Styles. Right. Um, he was getting paid a lot more. Um, and then recently, I think, was the kicker was Shia LaBeouf, who was supposed to be Harry Styles' role, the lead male role. And she. Olivia had gone on the record in her Variety interview, I think it was Variety, and said, we basically fired Shia because his methods didn't work and made people, i.e. Florence, uncomfortable. And, she and so we Florence prioritize. I was, I'm, he was making me uncomfortable. That's what Olivia said, Florence said. Yeah. And Olivia was like, oh, we prioritize like women feeling comfortable on set, so we, let him, we, we fired him. And then Shia was like, uh, no, you didn't, and here's a video of you, that you sent to me. And then Olivia in the video that she had sent to Shia was like, please come back. Like, I think we can work this out. Miss Flo, Miss Flo will figure her shit out. What? Like throwing Flo under the bus in this video. I have something to say about the whole thing. 
A-listers need to act like A-listers or else they're just us. Well, and the they thing need is they be. are just, they're people. They can't be because then we have nothing. If they're not better than us, we have nothing. They are. Uh, that's, that's our problem as a society is that we don't understand that people are just people. They need to be that's better than us. That's my problem as a human yeah. is that I don't understand that like all these people I idolize, just people. Crazy. I need, I need celebrities to be like more God. Right. More God-like. And at the end of the day, they're just not. It's disappointing. Which is crazy. And I think... I've always thought of Harry Styles as a god. Yeah. And now recently, through all this, you're kind of seeing him as a human, and it's weird. It's really unsettling. But anyway, the premiere of Don't Worry Darling was in Venice the other day, and it was just, like, clearly a, sh- a shit show, except for, like, the crowning jewel of everything, which was um, Harry Styles and Nick Kroll kissing. I think everyone knows how much I love Nick Kroll. So I don't know if you knew this, but you can make a lot li- a TikTok. You can convert a TikTok into a live photo that saves into your camera roll. And then you can make that live photo that was once the TikTok your phone background. So my phone background is this picture of Nick Roll and Harry kissing. But when you click on it, it becomes the TikTok. Cool, huh? That's very cool. Yeah. And I was actually able to make a support group for those of us who feel so strongly about Nick and he's not getting talked about. So if you what guys want to join my support group on Facebook I think called Harry Styles is great, but let's talk about Nick Kroll. I think that that's a forum that's available to you on Facebook.com. I think that it's really cool that he's involved mm-hmm. in this thing because I don't think that he's like on the same level. I know. It's, he's in my heart and in my mind, he's always been on the well, same level. So it's nice to see that. He's coming out very much ahead in this yeah, whole It literally thing. looked because Harry was avoiding everyone on the carpet um, besides maybe spitting on Chris Pine, but he was avoiding everyone except for Nick. It literally felt like Harry texted Nick before the festival and was like, pl- like, please stand with me, hold my hand. Like I text you before we go to events where I'm like, just don't leave my side. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Harry was there's probably a video, Nick. There's a video of all of them in a line on the red carpet and Olivia's on the far left and Chris Pine is trying to switch with people mm-hmm. who to not be next to Olivia. Everyone was trying to get she's, away from her. She's like volatile. It's she's well, like, do you think her and Harry broke up? Because everyone, yeah, I think so too. Harry didn't even look at her. But she's been going. She's been like with him. She's been like going on his well, on his. She's tour. like, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy because like he looks so happy on tour, like vibrant, smiley, like having the time of his life. And I've never seen anyone look more miserable anywhere than he looked he's gonna, yesterday. He's gonna age like a president. No one should be doing what he's doing. Can you elaborate? Yeah, have you seen those videos of like before and after of presidents? Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Just like age really poorly and fat quickly. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, it's. Do you think he spit on Chris Pine? No. Me neither. That's silly. Um, I would love to be a fly on the wall yeah. and know what happened. I think if they, he if he is from London, right? He's from Cheshire, England. No one from Cheshire, England would spit on someone. No, with I, he, that many Harry Styles, and like, yeah, and if especially if you're Harry Styles. But I saw a video of it, like frame by frame, like millisecond by millisecond, and no spit came out of his mouth. It's so weird. He didn't I, spit I, on I watched him. the actual, like, the video. I saw that one too, but I saw the video, and something did move in like the original video, like, but you don't see it till Chris Pine. But then when you watch the slow down version, I don't see anything. Right. I think maybe it was just like a ghost. Like a ghoul? Uh huh. It's because something sinister is going on. Hmm. Olivia is, there's something sinister. That's all. There's evil afoot in Venice. There's evil afoot. And I wonder what's going to come out next. I don't know. It really. But did you see the other group of people that was there in, in hordes? It was a very interesting group of people. It was from every Netflix show out right now. It was like no. Chase Stokes, Sydney Sweeney. That's obviously two separate groups. And then, um, I don't know. There's like a whole group of people from every show on Netflix. Uh huh. Like young actors. Oh, wow. I did not see that. Yeah. I was paying really close attention because I was like, what are they up to? Is it a new show? Should I say where I might be going soon? Or do you think that's jinxing or is it manifesting? I think it's manifesting. Okay. I got invited to the Don't Worry Darling premiere. That's amazing. In New York. But they ghosted me. So I don't know if I'm going anymore. But I think I'm going, I which is why I think that you just say you're going because that was the last you heard. Yeah, I don't know. They haven't gotten back to me, but it's very possible that I might be there to kind of see all of this unfold yeah, they'll, they'll be in there person. Too. 
and I, they'll be there too. Should we call some shots? Should we do like a fantasy football esque prediction for? I mean, they're just what's like going to happen. Yeah. I ho- I mean, hopefully this time Harry and Nick will kiss with tongue, maybe. And that's all I could hope for, because everyone else is going to stand there silently. Mm-hmm. What do you? I, think? I don't really have anything. I think that maybe a fist fight, which would be cool between Olivia and Florence. Olivia and. Do you think the movie would be getting this much buzz no. if Harry Styles weren't in it? If it was shot. Well, I like was in. Obviously, I was in New York last week, and they're they have so much money for this movie. Like Olivia Wilde mm-hmm. must have gotten so much capital to put this movie mm-hmm. out because. Every billboard you see is Don't Worry Darling. Huge. And here yeah. too, in LA. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Anyways, I, I think really, that's what we can say. Like, but I think we did a good job with the... I think, I think yeah, that's the most up-to-date we've ever been on something. Yeah. I think. Because it happened yeah. today. Yeah. That felt good. Yeah. Okay. Other things that are happening. What? Um, well, just like in terms of... Oh, I, I do want to touch on that. But in terms of um, Harry Styles, did you see the conspiracy theory that he's bald? Oh, no. It is the most compelling TikTok video I have ever seen, more so than Leah Michelle being illiterate. You sent this to me. Yeah. Did you not watch it? I was in a period of not being able to open TikTok. You said, OMG, ha, 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 ha. So. Okay. So basically, it's just a conspiracy theory that Harry Styles is bald, and it's just like they show his hairline. There it is, yeah. From when he had long hair versus his hairline now, and it's just like different human and then they show yeah like different hairline and then they show um like him on stage kind of jumping and it looks like a hair piece is like moving up and down and like you can see his scalp are you kind of seeing like that looks like a wig are you seeing that at all yeah. what do you think ah yeah i could see it yeah i don't look do you see that you know what? It, Do you, you see that? Yeah, it's kind of like when a president ages really yeah, quickly. Yeah, that's true. I think he's not completely bald. I think he has like maybe like a two A, <clears throat> um, or something. I mean, yeah, I don't know. There's so much. He has so much money on his team too to like do the whole. He's got to have the look. This guy's got to have the look. He's got to have the London. He's got to have the Cheshire look. The look or the luck. The look. Oh, yeah. The London look. That's I mean, but I think like if he busts his head. People would love him. I have no, just I don't as know. Much. I have no idea. Yeah, he really yeah, could do anything. I'm just, I don't You're care. over him. Don't You're over him. him. Yeah. Yeah. But, wow. I think it is so try hard at this point. Like the whole, they're, 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 the pushing of Harry Styles. Like he needs a break. Think, I don't think anyone's pushing. He needs a break. I think it's just like people are obsessed with him. Yeah. And that's got to yeah. be exhausting. It, oh, he must be exhausting. Yeah. I don't I think, think needs, it's his fault, though. I think he needs to pull I a Sean Mendes, a Justin Bieber. Yeah. You see, Justin Bieber this morning came out and said, I'm not going on tour because of health and mental health reasons. Good for him. Just. Genuinely. Yeah, I just retweeted something that said, I want, I, I hope nothing happens. I want nothing to happen to me for three years. Yeah. And I mean that. I would. I'd like to just pause. I would bet my bottom dollar you go out of the state this weekend. No. I can't. I really, I, I. Would be shocked. I have a think. whole trip just like for just in case. everyone back up, to hear. I have up. an entire trip planned <laughs> to leave to Austin on Friday, but I right now in this in the present moment because I got in, I left New York this morning at four in the morning. There's not a ounce of my body that would well, be because you're to do exhausted that. right now. But I know you, and you're gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, "Okay, Austin Friday can't come in soon enough." We'll see. I don't think so though. I hope you don't go because I want to find mushrooms with you. Yeah, yeah, that would How be fun. fun. I want to skip rocks yeah. really bad. Yeah, I'm in like a skipping rock kind of mood. And you could put them in your tote. <sighs> That's such a good collector's. Now bag. we're now we're talking. Yeah. Now we're really getting somewhere. Yeah. <clears throat> we're cooking with gas over here. Farts. I'm so hot. Oh. It is one of the hottest days I've ever felt. I think today. You missed like the worst of it when you were in New York. Guess what? Remember earlier today when we were on the phone prepping for this mm-hmm. show today. And I was like, I cannot figure out why it's 115 degrees in my room. Because mm-hmm, it's also 115 degrees outside. I left my window open for the whole time yeah, I was gone. Yeah. The AC was pumping through my house and out my window in oh. my room. So I turned it back on and I shut that window. And Good. I hope that it's cooler when I get home. I hope so too. It's really hard. I thought I peed the bed yesterday. Just sweat. Because it was, I was sweating so much. Yeah. I mean, I don't have 
we're the same, right? You don't have an AC unit in your room. No. No, me neither. It's been brutal. I've been sleeping on my slippery little leather couch. That is a slippery I, It's so couch. slippery. I know. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. How did you sleep on that? I, I hadn't. How could I sleep in my room? It feels like. Oof. The leather couch or the heat? The leather couch. Yeah. That it's is bad. Like, no, it's bad. I know. I want to throw it out the window. Okay, so we gotta probably do a couple, a couple more of our bullet points okay. in the next. Do eight you want minutes. to talk about Leah Michelle, or <laughs> I, think, I think we should do corn, corn kid. I'm sure everybody's oh. so disgustingly over corn kid by now. I had one day of corn kid, and I shut yeah, up TikTok I, for a week. It sucks because, like, at first I was like, "This is such a good song," like genuinely enjoying the song, and then it's like one annoying person uses it, and it's like, damn. Well, I corn, hate it. Corn kid. Like, I follow recess therapy. Yeah. Like, like uh, I didn't even, I clicked on him the other day because I was, like, shocked that this was everywhere. I mm-hmm. thought that he was, like, a smaller account. He's, like, three million followers no, now. I'm talking about the song. You know, the, the yeah, corn they, kid, they the Yeah, they took it and yeah. they put it in I the song. I feel like that's, yeah. But I'm they feeling like. It's ruined for me almost immediately. Yeah, I, I, it, it does get ruined immediately. Yeah. Like, for me, it's just, like, once one person that I don't like uses it. But I don't understand, like, he has a cameo account and people are getting cameos from him. Great. But then like big brands will get cameos from him and be like, say this to promote our brand. And then they'll post that cameo everywhere. That's not ethical, right? You can't just like use his stuff and repost it for your game. Um, like you should be paying him like a brand. You wouldn't a brand deal. There's some loophole with that. Yeah, you should. Tech- you should. But it's cameo for business. You can ch- you can charge a lot on that. Oh, so it's a specific section of cameo. Yeah, so cameo has cameos that you get for like you did cameos, right? Yeah. So briefly, when you were like happy birthday, Katie, happy Those are bir- different, happy than- graduation, uh-huh. Andrew. That's whatever amount. But then when a brand uses it, you can charge them more. Oh. There's like a brand. I hope he's charging yeah, built for oh, thousands. Yeah, he should be because like obviously. You can get you can get messages from like a list people on Cameo, which yeah. is so so sad for those a listers. But well, you I w- can, yeah, I don't know. I would get one. But that you charge. I mean, they're charging like yeah, like thousands, like thousands. Yeah, and it's it's like that's like yeah, it's a lot of money. But um, no, I I think that's really weird and unfortunate. I think someone should jump on it. I hope really like an quick agent and, or some like sort of management yeah, team is like, this is how much you should charge. Or yeah, so that he gets paid a fair. Yeah, he should. Uh, yeah, justice for corn kid. Well, I think that he may have just accidentally fallen into a career. <laughs> but with all the Jeanette McCurdy stuff, like uh-huh. the whole book coming out, I have this whole different thing on like child acting. You're anti like now. It just freaks me out now because I'm like. Like you wouldn't, you couldn't have like an eleven year old right. working at Chick Fil A. Right, it is an interest. It is interesting. So like, why would they yeah. be able to do cameos? They right. can't even get the money. They can't even keep the money. Right. It's like not yeah. in their legal it hands. Is. Anyways, yeah, it's an interesting topic. Did you see these photos of Jerry Seinfeld this morning? I I saw them because you reposted them, but I don't think I get it. Okay, so Seinfeld is Jerry Seinfeld is a hype beast officially. Um, Kith, the brand Kith. Is did. that just like streetwear? Yeah, but it's like nice. It's a nicer brand. It's like a classier streetwear brand. Mm-hmm. I don't really know how else to say it. I really like the. This is like one of the, the brands I actually like. Like their stuff. Mm-hmm. I love. There's like a. There's like a photo in here. I'm gonna try to find it. I think it's like the third or fourth photo. Um, this one is what I reposted right here. Right. So he's in. We're seeing Jerry Seinfeld in jeans, like a college style sweatshirt, and then like a flannel type mm-hmm. thing with a flat bill hat. You would wear that. I would wear this every day yeah. of my life. And what I like is like, can we just normalize normal clothes again? Mm-hmm. They look good. We don't have to. Did you? Anyways, he looks awesome. Mm-hmm. He looks great. Mm-hmm. But um, I think he's one of the only adult men that can do this kind of shoot. Interesting. And this style. I just did Nick Kroll could so do that. Did you see? Can we can we Google something really quick? On the opposite end of the spectrum here was Timothy Chalamet mm-hmm. on some carpet. The bloody tampon look. He looked like he crawled out of like Lady Gaga's ass. Damn, what was that? 
there was a meme. It was like him juxtaposed with some cartoon. Do you remember what it no. was? Fuck. Uh, it was so funny. No, but I'm sure we could find it. And and I don't know, but the juxtaposition of these the two these two men here, it's like whoever's dressing Harry Styles needs to just go to jail. What? Yeah. You mean Timmy? No, both. I well, mean, why I, Harry? I mean when I said, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. He's literally like setting the trends for everybody in in the world. Harry Styles. That that I can understand what you're saying. Harry, I think, has such good style. Like, that's the whole point. That is the freakiest image I think I've ever seen to, to me. I think he's just, like, so beautiful. that it, he, Okay, this is kind of the example of, like, skinny people really can just, like, wear whatever. Because just, like, you can just, like, wear anything and call it fashion. This is absurd to me. I'm going to say it again. We need to normalize it. where just, like, dressing and, like, Classic Keth. clothes. Not Keth, just like, where, I don't know. This is not pushing any boundaries to me. This is, to me, this so is, ugly. yeah. Like this I is, think not, that's, yeah. this I is think not that's... abstract and like, oh, groundbreaking. It's, it's, um, someone's doing drugs on, on that mm-hmm. style team. I can, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I'm not super offended by it, but I'm just like, probably wouldn't have worn it. Yeah. Or encourage him to wear it. Yeah, we, you know? can, we can move on because I actually like I'm a, I'm I don't, you're at a loss for words. Well, I don't have the words to explain how I'm feeling or what to because I'm not like very fashion. Like, see, so, like I can't even think of words mm-hmm. to say. And this is like a podcast, yeah. so I should probably. It's have fine. To. I think. Yeah, I'm not too. I think it's fine to just like not, not have so much to say about yeah. everything. Okay, I want to say one podcast. weird thing that's been happening to me, mm-hmm. and I know this is going to be something that I'm like, why did I say that? Please cut that. I'm so embarrassed. Great, but, but great, setup. great setup. But maybe we could, if I still feel that, whatever. Do you ever have like, this used to happen to me all the time when I would like meet one-on-one with teachers in college and high school, like office hours. Yeah. And you would just be like sitting alone with them and you would get these like really horrible intrusive thoughts. Like, what if I just like leaned over and kissed them? Did that ever happen to you? Yeah. Okay, I've been getting them again with like the other day I was sitting next to Sally Dar. And I was like, what if I literally, and she was not annoying me like we were having a normal conversation. What if I punched her? I was like, what if I like literally punched her so hard right now? Obviously, I don't want to punch her. But like, does that ever happen to you? Yeah, like I get I get the urge like when I'm sitting on a plane and it's totally quiet. Like what if I scream right. at the top of my lungs? I've just, they've been so bad recently for me. Just like nonstop. Like what if I just like clocked them? I, I remember my first. And I don't want to clock them. So it's like. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, I, uh, I was going to say, oh, I remember my first one ever. And it was, we had these things called tax, like standardized tests mm-hmm. in, in Texas called tax test, Texas, it doesn't matter. And, um, we had to walk bears in the cave. We were the bears. That was our mascot. So it's like, you put your thumb and, and your other, uh-huh. mascot, like behind your back. It's, what, what, why? Ooh, it's kind of. <laughs> kind of culty actually now they say it wait what was the significance of the bear in the cave it was just like you walk we're walking in a line from classroom to PE oh, or we're walking in a line yeah. to, it's really freaky to think about but I was like what if it was totally silent like yeah. we weren't a lot yes. I, was, I was like I need to clap right? yeah yeah <laughs> Brooke, yeah. I clapped I went, to, I went to the principal's office no you literally couldn't have not in that moment no I was like what if I clap I used to have them remember how I told you about my Quaker school yeah. and we would have meeting for worship where we would have to sit in silence yeah Every Wednesday for 40 minutes, I would always have, like, what if I just, like, stood up and cursed, like, ev- everyone out. Brooke, right I, now. And I, like, was literally shaking, like, I'm gonna do it. I get I get, I get, get these really bad at the airport. Like, I want to be like, I have a gun. I have a gun. <laughs> There's, I don't have I, a gun. They, yeah. They've just been so bad for me recently. Yeah. Like, I'm, wow. Okay. So glad that you have You're them, You're not too. alone. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, I was, that's what I said earlier when you tried to hit me with that, like, paddle or something yeah as it i was like remind me to tell you something so i tried to hit (laughs) with like an oar yeah behind the scenes yes um well we got to kind of wrap up here unless you want to touch on anything else that's that's pertinent um no i guess just moral of the story uh leah michelle still can't read um as of today yes but i really by the time she can she will be able to she has a tutor 
Well, did you see her reading that children's book? Someone was like, she's wearing an earpiece. <laughs> cause she has, cause she has one side of her hair completely covered and she's not looking at the book. She like, clearly, I don't know. It's just like, this like is, that was a stunt. That was a publicity. This stunt. is the best discord <laughs> that's ever happened on the internet. I hope she can't read. I think she starts in funny girl today. By the way. Let's see if she has an earpiece for her lines. She doesn't go. move. She doesn't move her hair out of the way. You won't know if she has an earpiece during this. <laughs> they put a graphic. They put a graphic over, over it when, so you can't see when her. she's going. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's just like that is still that's, the case. That's absolutely hilarious. <sighs> I feel like we kind of got to everything. She. Oh wait, no. I wanted to say okay. also. Okay, so we've got Leah Michelle responding to two. <laughs> wait, there's a TikTok. Oh crap! I need to send in this TikTok. I'm gonna describe it. There's the one a TikTok. On Andy Cohen? Yeah, there's a TikTok. She's talking to Andy Cohen, and she's like, "There's this thing when when people are now dis- starting a rumor that I can't read." And immediately he goes, "What does this say?" And like hands her a card, and she goes, uh, um, uh, uh, wait, I, uh, <laughs> "And it, then the video cuts." Like I she, wonder if like if we go and look at the actual footage and not just the way it, well, it cut the on way TikTok. people are putting it. Yeah. In is so funny. And then I don't know if people saw Harry Styles. Like these, these like workaround questions are so funny. Like Harry Styles has been doing it too at these press conferences. Not oh, when to... he was like, it's a movie. Yeah. He's like, what I love about this movie is that <laughs> it's a, it's, it's a movie. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then he also said, you'll something... be able to see it in the theater. Yeah. Yes. Harry, good point. <laughs> he, and like you go and you watch it. And, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm like, that, if they don't do that, oh, SNL's not airing. But if they didn't, if, to do that on SNL would be so brilliant. It's I, a movie. Yeah, he's, when he's also like, what I love about acting is I I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's like, we know. <laughs> like, we watch the clips. The clip of him being, I forget what he says, but he's like, ah. it's like, I saw this breakdown of these kids, these, not kids, these like people that do acting, take acting classes with coaches. And they're like, what he's doing here this technique is what you learn on the first day in like acting mad mm-hmm. 101. It's mm-hmm. like you go, ah. <laughs> like, oh, like, Alice. These, like, oh. yeah. Like you do this, like turn around mm-hmm. and you look back and you grunt. And it's apparently it's like just a classic move that you're thrown when it's like, well, he's learning. He's, he's clearly taking into account what he's learned, which is amazing. Not everyone does that. It's wild. Yeah. It really is just yeah. fascinating to watch. Yeah. This I'm is, this is see. like, Oh, here's Leah. Oh, wait. Okay, so we've pulled up the Leah clip. Let's see. What are your thoughts on those conspiracy videos saying that you're illiterate? God, did you hear about this? No. <laughs> what? Wait, you don't know about this? <gasps> How long do I have? <laughs> so I, I looking woke up it. one day and all of a sudden all online someone had made a, a, a like a conspiracy video 45 minute long video trying to prove that I can't read or write all right, what does this say and uh, <laughs> uh, uh well it's a uh, Dorinda no Sounded Bethany out. no I <laughs> she doesn't answer it she doesn't answer it's it. Bethany it's that Bethany Pages so she knows her of- letters is what it sounds like she's like that's not a D that's a B I, when she was saying it's Dorinda she was just like making a joke and that's yes. where the t- video on tiktok she cut off. but then she girl. did correct and say bethany oh okay. but you know that's one word that's a sight word as we call it in the teaching biz names are often sight words so you know don't need to know how to read to, to learn those kind of pull yeah out, yeah stretch them yes yeah. exactly exactly yeah exactly. i used to have to yeah really stretch, stretch out, out those sight words words yeah anyway okay well I think we wrap. I, think I honestly we wrap. think we wrap. We it got, was good we, seeing yeah, you. Yeah, good seeing you. I'll see you, I'll next, see you week. next week. I'll see um, you on Thursday. Tomorrow? Tomorrow's oh, Thursday. Oh, oh, no. No, no. no you're I'll right. I'll see you Thursday. And with that, we bid you adieu, and we will see you next week. See ya.